What's happening guys? So I want to talk about something that I've been getting asked kind of frequently about as I go through this comeback right now And that's just kind of the aggressiveness or lack thereof of my training as I kind of come back here And you know a lot of people are wondering why I'm taking it so easy Why I'm taking small jumps and why I'm just not as aggressive as I was prior to being out with my surgery so You know prior to my surgery. I was I was doing all three movements three days a week uh, the deadlifts, I had one power day, so it was pretty pretty easy work, so it wasn't a lot, but I was still doing everything three days a week. Now I'm only doing everything twice a week, and even though my strength adaptation is happening really fast, I'm still keeping it kind of light and not going very heavy in comparison to what I could probably actually do. And, you know, I'm always a fan of sub-maximal training to begin with, but I'm going extremely sub-maximal right now. And it kind of goes back to this whole max recoverable volume versus minimum minimum effective dose. Now I was actually having a conversation with Nick Boletto with Boletto Brigade recently and we were talking about the uh, the round table that Jeff Nippert had with it was with Lane Norton, Eric Helms, Greg Knuckles and um, who was the fourth one? Uh, I think it was Mike Israel. And it was this was a really good video and, and a really good podcast, whatever you want to call it. And I will actually link that in the description if you want to check it out. But it's just talking about you know what you what you should do because in order to make progress, okay, you, you have to give your body a stimulus over and above what it's done before, right? So you give it a stimulus, you adapt to what you've done, you recover, and then you give it a new stimulus again, right? So the question becomes, should you stay towards the lower end of things and just do as little as possible in order to actually make progress? Or should you do as much work as possible that you can actually recover from to make better and faster progress? And I think if you actually watch the video, I think everyone came to a pretty good agreement that either one is going to get you to where you want to be in the long run it's just the max recoverable volume part is going to get you there faster but it also has a greater chance of injury so there's kind of a little bit of trade-off here so for me right now the way i'm looking at things is i'm coming back lightly i'm not doing nationals anymore uh, i guess i've never actually officially announced that but i think you guys have probably figured that out by now but i'm not doing nationals and I'm just taking it easy and just trying to come back, get stronger, get bigger, and just think about my longevity as a power lifter. So on that end, I think it makes more sense for me to kind of take it easy, make progress on lower amounts of volume. So for me, if I can just take these like 10 pound jumps and make significant progress doing that, why take these massive jumps in volume that I don't necessarily have to do and still make the same progress? You know, if you can, if you can make the same amount of progress on lighter work, and lighter volume as you could on a ton of volume why do a lot more right so you know I think a lot of it just comes down to what your training goals are and where you're at with your training at this moment now if I was coming back and I was gonna, gonna go ahead and do nationals again then that would be in what like eight weeks or something like that okay I would be pushing it a lot harder than I am right now I would be going a lot more towards the maximum recoverable volume and I would be pushing things a lot heavier a lot harder and I would really be kind of put my body through the ringer but that would be it, would that be a good thing to do? I don't know. Probably not. Not coming back from a three-month layoff, that'd be pretty tough, but it could be done. It's just the, the chance of injury gets higher. The other thing you have to keep in mind with max recoverable volume is I think it's pretty hard to know what your max recoverable volume is unless you actually go above and beyond that and you wipe yourself out because how do you know what your max recoverable volume is unless you get to the point where you can't recover anymore? So that's just something you got to keep in mind. Like, there is a point where it's just too much and without actually getting there, how do you know if you're doing enough or not? So I think somewhere in the middle is probably the better answer. You know, you want to make enough, you want enough volume that you make sure you're getting significant results. You don't want to just do so little that you're just barely getting any results, but it also just depends on your goals, what you're doing. If you're just a weekend warrior or if you're someone who just wants to get stronger, but you, you, you're not super serious about it, well, then you're probably going to want to stay towards the lighter than the things and not do too much and just enjoy it, make sure you don't get injured and, and go through that. But if you're trying to become one of the best lifters in the nation or in the world, well, yeah, you're going to have to push it and you're going to have to push really hard. And it's just one of those trade-offs. So I don't know. That's just something I kind of wanted to talk about. You know, it's just kind of my opinion. For me, I'm just trying to take it easy right now and I'm enjoying making really good progress doing very little work. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the gym and I love being in there and, and I actually kind of miss squatting three days a week because I love squatting, but <laughs> my body has plenty of issues, so if I can make this really good progress without pushing it too hard, I think I need to do that as long as I can and it's only going to set me up better for the future if I can, you know, make really good progress on light amounts of volume and then when I need to, I can dial it up more. So, I don't know, that's my, that's my way of thinking right now. I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to think. Leave it in the comments below and I'd love to hear from you. And 
I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching the little bit of training clips that I've done over this so you didn't have to watch my ugly mug and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching as always guys. I'm addicted to the love that you're giving